Hey guys, it's uh, Chris you're seeing here back from CNH Smallinger for another informative repair video and service video for your uh, shotguns, rifles, stuff like that. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to be talking specifically about the uh, Vever 12 shotgun and uh, how to make it uh, more reliable in cycling some of the cheap uh, low ball ammunition you would find, like the Walmart value packs for like the bird shot and stuff like that out there. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest things you can do uh, whenever you get your new gun is basically uh, improve the trigger, basically upgrade the trigger by putting like a TAPCO uh, G2 trigger in them and uh, it will improve your uh, trigger's responsiveness and, and how it actually feels whenever you're uh, shooting the gun and it will also help your accuracy as well too. And the second part would be to uh, polish uh, your trigger component, especially your hammer on there as well too and uh, that will help your gun to uh, cycle better and basically what you want to do is you want to polish your hammer as you see in front of me, I have right here and what I have right now is basically one of the ones I took out one of my guns here to show you how it looks like basically this one right here is a Tapco G2 replacement right here and I basically uh, did uh, two things you get to basically uh, cycle better for one thing if you want to polish this uh, quite well on it however you don't want to take it down too much because if you take it down too much the trigger will not reset in the uh, in your gun's receiver then or for that you don't want to take too much off if you take too much off it will not uh, reset down inside your gun your, your bolt uh, your, your bolt carrier will not uh, go over top it properly and reset the trigger mechanism down or for that so you only want to file down a small portion of it so it will cycle better under for that you want to do basically the same thing to your uh, you know, called the bolt carrier as well too on these things as well. Basically, you want to file down where the angled parts are on the uh, bolt carrier, down where it actually contacts your trigger assembly here as well too. And basically, you can accomplish that by doing uh, the following things. The first thing I would recommend doing is getting some emery cloth right here, as you see right here, and basically get small pieces and just uh, buff the entire. Uh, piece of your trigger right here, your actual hammer. You see right here, your hammer has uh, two little, two little lobes. I call them on here right here. You have one in the back right here, and you have one in the front up by the uh, the bend right here as well too. Well, what you want to do is you want to polish those things as much as humanly possible to uh, basically have it nice and tapered profile on, or you don't want to have it up flat then up down again on there for that. You want to have a nice gradual uh, change between the front right here and the back right here you want to have a nice sloped piece on here so what I did right here was basically sand them down as much as possible so the gun would cycle uh, pretty good in there I don't want to take too much more off than what I already have off there for that and you can accomplish that by doing as I mentioned getting the uh, emery cloth first right here then after you buff it with the emery cloth basically uh, you want to get some stuff I have right here it's called uh, Fell Pro Clover Abrasive Compound. Basically, it's a uh, it's a polishing compound for like valves lapping and valves and stuff like that. We have that over here because of uh, engine rebuilding and stuff like that for your small engines, especially when you put new valves in a uh, small engine. You have to lap the valves in and get them to seat right properly. Well, this stuff is the fine uh, type right here. Let me see if I can get it set on here. Yeah, this is the fine. Uh, it's type right here as well too or for for finishing it's not the coarse one it's for the fine and that's what you basically use to uh, polish this thing up a bit better than uh, you can do with the emery cloth because your emery cloth is only going to buff it so much on her for that so basically what I did over here personally and this is my this is my personal uh, preference what I did was basically take a old piece of uh, worn out emery cloth as you see right here and put stuff on top of that and basically smother it on it right there for that and basically what you do with that is you go over top your portion right here you basically try to polish out these things and flatten them out as much as humanly possible along this whole edge right here where the two pieces are right there and in the back right here and by doing that uh, your bolt carrier will cycle a hell of a lot better out there for that and after you get done doing that it might take maybe an hour or two hours depending on how long you um, are actually willing to put the time into it but by doing that uh, your gun will cycle a lot better it will actually reduce the friction it takes to overcome the trigger assembly and reset the trigger and cycle another round into your gun's chamber 
And by doing that, you free up a lot of friction so the gun is able to function better so you don't have any hang-ups or it's basically choking on empty uh, shells down inside the chamber area for that. Then after you uh, basically uh, buff it with the, uh, the fine polish right there, basically, I would recommend getting some brake cleaner. Get some brake cleaner right there, blow it off the brake cleaner, wipe it down, make sure it's completely wiped down. Then the last step would be to get your um, stuff right here. This is a uh, 3M Scotch Bright, and basically hit that again with a Scotch Bright pad, maybe about two, three hundred times. It's along the whole edge of the profiled piece you just redid on here for that, and that'll basically really slick it up on there for that. And you basically want to do the same thing with your uh, bolt carrier. I don't have my bolt carrier out here right now for me, but uh, I did the basic same thing with that too, just to basically your bolt carrier has two angle pieces, one in the front and one in the back, and you want to do the same thing with that. You want to have a nice curved piece on it. You don't want it to be down angle, flat, and up a dang. You don't want any real sharp angles and stuff like that, but that's where your friction occurs right there for that. And by slicking it up like that, you can basically shoot any kind of ammunition you want out there and uh, stuff like that. So if anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot about something like that, just drop me a line here. Leave me a message on my page and I'll try to answer any questions you may have about improving your Vepro's reliability, especially when cycling the cheap low ball Walmart value pack ammunition. I'll see you guys.